Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. In between the episodes I made sure to finish the living module here for the third planetoid, so today hopefully we can make the switch. All I need is a little bit of oxalite in order to get things started. I also already have the cooling loop in place, well that's another thing we need, some super coolant, but we can send everything over from the main planetoid. My big issue right now was to get the oxalite over to the third planetoid. I don't want to do this right here, so I decided to do it with the system. And if this goes down all inside of the tiles, we hopefully will not be losing too much of it. There are some occasional gaps right here that I could avoid but then right here there are like two tasks that i can't avoid they're always going to be emitting some oxalite except maybe i encase it and eventually it's going to be fully pressured yeah you know what thinking about it this might actually be the perfect idea just encase this and over time it's going to be so much pressure that we even don't lose anything here and then right here we could maybe take apart the ladder and the transit tube and replace it with something solid i just want to make sure that i can get the extra oxalite over without losing any of it. I'm quickly gonna deconstruct everything here so we can get rid of the materials, make this nice and cozy. By the way, in the previous video I had some occasional crackling in the microphone sound. I tried to replace the USB cable but I'm not sure if that fixed the issue. Unfortunately I didn't really hear it during editing so I can only really tell with the finalized product. Maybe let me know if it is better than in the previous video. And you know what? I just noticed I only have one Atmo suit. I need to deliver another one. But there we go. Now these two blocks are are solid and then if we do this then everything should be fine let's also give this some drywall just to be thorough about this is there anything else i need to hook this up to i already got the pipes let's maybe make sure these pipes are all insulated yeah one pipe is the petroleum and another pipe is the polluted water that i'm getting in the meantime of course on the third planetoid we're now working on the rat bolt chamber we got more or less everything ready slowly but surely things are overheating here so i'm gonna disable auto repair otherwise my duplicates are always going to be busy with that actually maybe one thing we could do is bring the ice over here we have like lots and lots of little ice pieces just hanging around if we sweep all of these up they're going to be brought over here and some chill can spread in the meantime i think it's also time to switch up our diet for instance we have inside the gas range the surf and turf now our biggest issue with that is that we cannot actually reach it we made sure to be able to reach the spice grinder and also the micro musher and everything we can even reach the egg cracker but not really the gas range so depending on what we want to cook here like the surf and turf we need to switch things up this is going to be a great meal quality giving us plus 12 morale and also a radiation resistance of plus 20 percent it's also going to slightly increase our kilocalories so let's do this forever we're gonna go ahead and cook this up let's just see what happens okay we're picking things out of the refrigerator which is fine however at this point it's probably advisable to not use the barbecue and the cooked seafood anymore unless we use it for cooking that means also inside the spice grinder I don't want to waste my food like the barbecue and the cooked seafood shouldn't be treated anymore but then the other food that I'm currently getting still will. We might even want to do the fried mushrooms since we get that occasionally. However right, that means barbecue and cooked seafood are gonna spend their time in here and this auto sweeper cannot reach them. So what we might be able to do let me see I want to move this kitchen light yeah this is still gonna be good if it is over here so let's Let's get rid of this one just gonna remove the auto sweeper temporarily so i can build a ladder and actually get this going and in here we also don't want to store barbecue or cooked seafood anymore this is only the food that we actually keep yeah as a matter of fact gristle berry is also not something i want to do we just have berry sludge and omelets and now there's going to be a new food good now i want to introduce another conveyor loader this one here should be reachable by both auto sweepers like this one here can also reach it perfect as a matter of fact it's already powered wait a second could we just get away with adding it to this conveyor loader right now there are no filters in this this is actually interesting so i get the barbecue and the cooked seafood out of there it will be automatically added to this machine yeah i might not even need this conveyor loader i'm still gonna install it so i have it 
in place there for the future. And then finally get the auto sweeper back. That should be everything. Okay, there we go. We're picking up the seafood and the barbecue. It gets put into... Wait a second. It gets put into this guy. Yeah, we need to take barbecue out of here as well as cook seafood where is it right there and as a matter of fact we want to pick up all the other foods no matter what we have there but barbecue and cooked seafood are now going to be used for the gas range instead awaiting fuel is that all it requires wait ah we already got some stuff in there okay so now we just need to cook faster than we actually get the food because right now it's just laying here on the floor well eventually the dupes might pick it up but the idea of course is that in due time we will be able to cook that up before we get new stuff so I guess all we need to make sure is that we actually get this pipe. I apparently moved it. There we go. It's all in place. Joshua is already on his way and using the gas range for the first time. Wow, it was a bad time. We could have done that quite a bit sooner. And now that we got our first surf and turf, we want to make sure it's added to the spice grinder and that people only eat it once it's spiced. Yeah, so surf and turf is going to be added to the list. Now we have three really good types of food and surf and turf of course should also be added right here so it gets automatically delivered into the system and back into the freezer very good that was actually quite an easy upgrade now we just need to remove it from the consumables right so i guess as a general rule i should allow all the foods for the dupes that aren't on the same planetoid oh yeah i totally forgot mima is our new pilot replacing nicola i got her on board because she has a piloting skill of seven to start with so surf and turf is allowed for everyone now but we want to disallow barbecue in general i guess also for new duplicants i would say that was quite an easy upgrade let's get back to the second planetoid no that's the third one right here no progress mima is radiation vomiting already Ah, I totally forgot to give her the pills. I think she just took the rat pills now. Yeah, there we go. She takes it now. Okay, well, either way, she's now gonna spend her time in this rocket, in the liquid rocket, with a little bit more food than Nicola. Oh, and of course, you also mentioned how I could have saved him, for instance, with mush bars just flying back to the planetoid. Or I could have quickly sent over some food from the main planetoid. Oh, well, it wasn't the most important dupe to me. Mima is a very good replacement. Well, she's not in in best shape right now but she's gonna be now honestly this is a little bit of a race against time here because we need to cook up all the barbecue before it goes bad let's see i have 420,000 kilocalories of cooked seafood and uh, where's the barbecue 232,000. yeah i'm never gonna be able to cook that up before it goes bad in this situation yeah this might be kind of a shame but it's just a temporary problem maybe let's just make sure joshua focuses on this guy here setting it to priority nine and i think i'm gonna set up a mechanized airlock here so i still have the opportunity to go inside but i'm gonna lock it so it doesn't happen by accident looks like we have another meteor shower upon us for 0.5 cycles okay that's long away yeah that's what i like to see joshua go for it like there's no tomorrow we're already up to 84,000 kilocalories of surf and turf also maybe we should think about doing something with the meal lice like i cannot really utilize it probably we're gonna be using it to feed the tree the resin tree yeah probably that's a good idea i'm now interested in making a little bit more progress towards this area so we need to make sure to be able to reach it uh let me see how do we do that probably just up here Ooh, ah, materials wait how did i do that on the main planetoid i went up here oh no i left more space are you serious okay well we can still leave more space we just have to uh, do a little wiggle jiggle i'll be right back once i made some progress also looks like we are now on the planetoid here of course loading up some liquid or maybe not Ooh, looks like something went wrong here yeah <laughs> Yeah, for one, we are now also picking up the polluted water. So there's something we need to do about that. But on the other side, looks like we melted away some stuff. But there are the 400 kilograms we needed for this. So we need a liquid rocket port loader. Build that out of 
gold and uh, we should be golden. I just need to make sure that I let Mima out in order to build this. Is she gonna do it? No, of course not. Why would she? It's her downtime. Yeah, I'm not even sure she's gonna be able to do it. It's pretty hot. These ladders are like 900 degrees and she's got no suit. We still have a little bit of oxygen in this gas cargo canister. That means we still have time to get the base running. What I need at least is to get the Atmo suit dock running and also have oxygen inside the base. If I can do that and maybe even fill up the loop here. Yeah, I should do that too. Oh my gosh, there's still a lot to do, but we can do it. And then I guess we can send the oxalite over. Let's check what happens here once we receive the oxalite. Oh, ooh, everything comes to a halt. Why? Geez, sometimes I just don't get it. I mean, what's wrong? This is all good. I oh, know the items are just queuing up. Interesting. Either way, what I wanted to do is let the items get out here from the teleporter. We're also going to install a mechanized airlock right here. And then they're just going to go through a bunch of metal tasks. Let's make sure to empty this and that. So once they go through here, the oxalite is just going to travel. And then at this point, it's going to be filtered out. So this is set to oxalite and it's going to open up this chute. And the oxalite is just going to drop here. This is already over pressured, so it will not be able to off gas and and then my duplicants can just pick it up. Now it looks like Mima is suffocating. Is she really suffocating? Well, I guess she is. Yeah, she's really slow. Actually thinking about it, I believe Mima isn't even capable of building. Yeah, check this out. She's not capable of building this. <laughs> Oh, this is so frustrating. So we have to get back into the rocket and we don't even have a possibility to fix that. Mima, you're absolutely useless once the infrastructure is just not functioning anymore. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. For now, we have enough water. It's just a little bit of a pain in the butt that we wasted all those resources to actually come here. But now we're gonna make our way back again to the main planetoid. You know, I think I'm gonna stop the flow of items a little bit. Just get all of this out of the system like this constant flow of materials currently is clogging up our system on the main planetoid yeah of course this is an exceptional amount of materials but we can see everything is kind of clogging up that's not really what i want to see it's also unnecessarily straining our cooling system Alrighty, some time has passed my liquid rocket just came back and it's going to be filled up again in the meantime i would say i'm done on the third planetoid just building the canister emptier, I also got my pipes in place. So technically we could get things started. The way I want to get it started is first fill it up with a little bit of oxygen before then starting the cooling loop and everything. Now in order to get some initial water in here, I think I'm just gonna transport it over. So if we, for instance, empty out a couple of these pipes, then we should already have enough. The super coolant should be delivered to this targeting beacon. Then we're gonna put it into the payload opener. So all we have to do is really connect this to down here to fill up the super coolant. This also means we can get rid of the other payload opener. We're going to be using this one here as of this point, like so. And that also makes me want to reroute the rails here on the top a little bit. Now, I already tried chipping over a little bit of oxalite right now. Yeah, we are over pressured here. Now, there could be an issue with it not being all the same gas. Oh, it's all oxygen. Okay, never mind then. I guess it was too little polluted oxygen to stay active. In this case, all we got to make sure is that the oxalite doesn't vanish right here. So I want to make sure we build this really quickly. And then the oxalite should be all protected until it actually lands here. And we should be getting the full amount of it. Right here, we can already see I have 29 tons of oxalite. Of course, we can only store 20 inside the bin. So if I put this oxalite into the conveyor loader, we should be fine just delivering this over. And you can see here so far, we have the full 20 kilogram packets. I had to exchange the normal doors with mechanism nice doors of course but right now that seems to be good let's check if they also arrive at 20 kilograms over at the main planetoid we still face a little problem that i'm gonna show you just in a second and right here we are losing a little bit because of this part here i actually totally forgot to also set up a mechanized airlock right here this is rather important and we're also gonna close this since we don't really need to access it so there's a little something to fix here but we don't lose too much we still have 19.8 kilograms at this point and whenever we have some oxalite here it should be dropped right there 
one four. So now we lock the door and because we have 2000 grams of oxalite or oxygen already here, the oxalite isn't going to off gas anymore. Good. Now with the last step, there's going to be an issue. If we bring this up to, let's say, this conveyor loader, then we still struggle a little bit because we have like uh, one, two tiles where we are in the open. So first of all, we want to possibly rotate this guy around. If we do it like so, there's only going to be one tile where it really can off gas. It will not off gas right here but then there's another tile it can off gas and i believe as soon as it's in the interplanetary launcher it should be safe but there's still two tasks where we lose a huge amount or potentially a huge amount. In the future, I could probably have this inside a room that is pressured, but the interplanetary launchers are never going to be pressured. So yeah, in my opinion, this is a huge problem. Let's try to bring all the oxalite right here into this storage bin. And that should be okay because it is submerged in a little bit of super coolant. Okay, now we're bringing all the deliveries right here. It's enough to technically get started and you can see it's also not being used up at this point. Now the question is what happens if I put it in here because this conveyor loader is still submerged it might actually not off gas while it's inside the conveyor loader that might be important. But yeah I would say we're gonna bring this over and then observe it. Right now we're going out these packets here are at 19 kilograms so we lose one kilogram in this tile. Let's see how much we lose over here. Ooh, I can't really tell 35 54. Huh. Actually, we might not lose that much. If it's just 2 kilograms per 20 kilograms, that is totally acceptable, to be honest. I can see some oxygen here. So that means this thing is off-gassing. That is really bad. We can test this out by cutting the pipe. So we can check this. Oh, no, we're still losing it. I don't believe it. Okay, so we might be better off turning this around so it counts as submerged. Okay, I'm now wrapping up the base here for Lyra, but she shouldn't trap herself inside just yet. There we go. We can also finish the outside. And what we can already do... Oh, actually, I should have done this before. This is really bad. I should have sent over a little bit of super coolant as well. Let me see if we can do that right now. We just need to add liquid right here yeah it's actually easy oh no it's actually possible we can get inside the base even though this station isn't powered okay that's gonna work out but i still need to get outside very briefly in order to bring along the bottle and with bottle i mean the oxygen bottle right here that's already 85 kilograms of oxygen that we can use and i just need to move it over into the base right there for instance and then once we have a little bit of oxygen inside we should be able to let the machinery run until we have the cooling in check wait a second this is going to the wrong planetoid let me make sure to target the correct one and then super coolant should be going up a little bit of nafta as well this cannot hurt by the way by now i get a seed every harvest my farmers are this good good let's try this again oxalite i want my duplicates to bring it along Maybe set it to a little bit of a higher priority. At least the oxalite inside the storage is safe. And now I want to check if the other oxalite is safe inside of the conveyor loader. We have... W w w wait, 980. Uh, okay, yeah, that seems to be fine. So because it's switched around now, I'm not losing the oxalite inside the conveyor loader. But I will still be losing one kilogram as it passes through the rails. And honestly, this might be acceptable. Ooh, 17 kilograms. Ah, that's a little bit more yeah we might be losing 25 percent through this method i'm not really happy maybe we're just gonna submerge the conveyor loader entirely in liquid you know that could actually be a good idea we're gonna deconstruct these guys again and then lay the conveyor loader on the ground in the meantime some of my payloads have arrived and some of it might actually be oxalite no this is all super coolant yet okay wait a second we already have oxygen in here but i'm losing it all because my duplicates don't build okay Never mind. But there we go. Now that we have that, I want to go ahead and empty out this bottle as well. And then we're just going to enable the entire system by hooking it up to power. Uh, that should be everything we need, right? Oh, I forgot to hook this up. Never mind. Okay, this is looking very good. Do we already have super coolant no not really is this set to allow for manual use i guess so okay priority 59 for lira now what seems to be the issue i'm not getting the power i'm looking for hooking up the batteries okay but this thing here straight up says there's no power how is this possible wait ah no of course it's just because i'm an idiot that it makes total sense how did i solve that on the other planetoid ah i got the cable in here okay that actually makes a lot of sense and there we go that should be fixed yeah 
power available. Good. Now, also, the newly shipped Oxalite should be safe. And I have some naphtha inside the cooling loop. I think I will get that out in due time. Main thing is we can now get in and out of the base. And that means I can also do things like that and actually get this out right there. We do lack the plumbing skill, though. I think we should be able to spend two more points here with Lyra so she can do it. By the way, I think the Oxalite is working much better now with this conveyor loader. We're not losing anything on this way, but we're just losing it like one tile in here. Or maybe not even. Yeah, it looks like we now sent over all the extra oxalites that we had. This should now all go to the third planetoid. Now, it looks like my auto sweeper here is a little bit too high. That is unfortunate. Holy cow, there are so many interplanetary payloads. Why is nobody picking them up? They just got low priority. Well, the auto sweeper will be taking care of it. But I bet you we now have over seven tons of oxalite here. Oh, looks like May is actually doing something with the payloads now. Auto sweeper is in place, so we don't even need to do manual use anymore and now we should be able to see the oxalite being delivered and ooh, wait a second oh gosh are you serious i cannot have my payload opener inside it's just too much of a pain in the butt to ship oxalite maybe we should just ship liquid oxygen honestly but yeah with all the meteor showers we might still be able to prevail now all of this oxalite is being delivered and then it's being spread around the base should be okay right? Well, I guess we'll see over time if we can actually keep up. This is supposedly the only other planetoid that is dependent on this. But let's go ahead and set this up here. Hopefully I did not forget to do anything here. And new super coolant is incoming. Very good. Alrighty, just in the nick of time, we activated Lyra's base. We have plenty of oxygen inside. The suits are already prepared. I had to send over another suit, which is now, I think, being filled up. Uh, uh, come on, let me see that. But I guess everything goes into the first dock first, and then it's going to fill up the second one. But this just happened. Let's also plant a couple of seeds, like a briar seed here, then murph leaf seed here. And here, I would like to see a body bot seed. We don't have any body bot seed. So I'm going to be sending that over. Let me maybe prepare that already. We can do that right here. Body bot seed. I just want to get one of those seeds inside. Now, my farms currently aren't working. It's not a huge problem because we have all of this food. But I thought in the next episode, we should maybe do something that has been suggested a couple of times by you. And that is to utilize our slime in order to produce algae as well as a little bit of polluted water. So maybe this is going to help every time that the guy here here that we are using usually is dormant so i think i'm gonna be doing that in the next episode but right now i'm happy that lira's base is functioning well actually it's this one here and that also means we can just in the background keep on building the rappled chamber and the delivery system and then we're gonna be delivering lots and lots of oil so two projects lined up for the next time and until then i would say we're gonna wrap it up for today thank you so much for watching guys i really hope you enjoyed it i'm sorry for the bigger break between the episodes there's just some family business i have to take care of if you didn't know i have a family and two kids and i usually record all my stuff during the evening when everyone is asleep but lately i just had to get a little bit more sleep because my days were a little bit more exhausting but yeah i do what i can there should be at least three videos every week if i do daily uploads that is just a bonus also for everyone who keeps on asking in a couple of days city skylines 2 is gonna come out and i'm gonna definitely be making Making a long-term series on that as well so we'll have both series running in parallel but with that out of the way thank you so much for watching have a great time and see you in the next one bye bye